Welcome children. Take out an English literature book, Longman Impression, Revolt Edition, Part 7, Chapter 7, January 9. In my previous video, I have already explained that this story is taken from French's Puski Rat. I have already explained that Halku and Munni, they lived a very poverty stricken life and how they suffered when they were asked to give away their savings as taxes. Now let's begin the story. Another hour, hour passed, the knight fanned out the cold with the wind. Halku sat up and bringing both knees tight, held against, the, against his chest, hid his face between them. Now what happened? Another hour passed, means another time passed, that happened and the night was becoming too cold. So Halku, what he did? He couldn't sleep as he was sleeping in the field. So, so in such a cold night, he couldn't sleep. So what he did? He held his knees tight uh, against his chest and hid his face between them. But the cold was just biting. But the cold wind, uh, it appears as if it is biting him. It seemed as heavy uh, though all his blood had frozen that the eyes, that the blood filled, blood filled his face. It was saving, saving, looking as if all his blood has frozen, frozen with eyes and the veins had got filled with eye, eye, blood veins and had filled with blood, was filled, veins had filled with blood which were turned into eyes. He, led, he leaned back to look at the skies and but how much of the night was still left? Now what happened? He leaned back. Now he looked up at the sky. Just he wanted to see that how much time was left. To him. For only a stone's throw away from Halku's field was a mango grove. Now only few distance. What was that? From in Halku's field there was a mango grove. Halku thought, if I go and get a pile of leaves, I can make a make a fire of them and keep them up. Now Halku thought that if he goes there. Huh, he collects some leaves and then give it, uh, collect some leaves, then make a fire and keep himself up. If anybody sees me gathering the leaves on the dead of the night, they will think me it uh, think it's a ghost. Now he thought that if I go in the night, if I go there and pluck the tree, what they will see? They will think that it's a, it's a ghost. Of course, there uh, there's a chance some animals hidden in my field waiting now of course even there is a chance mm, uh, that some animal is hiding uh, hiding in the field waiting but i can't say uh, i can't stand sitting here any longer now what happened he can't wait sitting here any longer he ripped up some stalks from the nearby field made a broom out of them and picking up a lighted cow dung cake it went up, uh, went to the grove now what happened to to make a fire what he did he gathered some stalks from the nearby field, made a broom of them and then picked up the lighted cow dung cake and then went the group. Jabra watched his coming and ran him wagging to his tail. Now what happened? Jabra watched it. Jabra means he was, it was his dog. He watched it and he came running, uh, wagging his tail. Halku said, and I can't stand it anymore. Warm way up with saying that Halku, uh, Halku said that Halku said to Jabra that he can't bear this cold anymore, and so he is going to warm himself. When we are we are toasted, we, we will come back and sleep. Saying that when we will have warmth in our body, we will come back and sleep. The night still far from over now because the night was still far away from over. Jabra's barked his agreement and trotted on toward the orchard. Now, Jabra, what he did? It, it also barked with agreement that Jabra barked in such a way that showing that he was also ready and trotted onto the orchard. Suddenly, a gust carried the scent of henna blossoms to him, where the scent, sweet smell coming from Jabra. Now, what happened? Suddenly, he found a gust of sweet smell of henna blossom to him, where the sweet smell was coming from Jabra. Jabra had found a bone lying where he was chewing on it. Now, Jabra, what happened? The dog had found a bone lying there somewhere and he was chewing it. Halku set his fire down on the ground and began to gather the leaves. Now Halku what he did? He set, uh, set his fire down on the ground and began to gather the leaves. Soon he had a great heap. His hands were frozen. His beard were frozen. Soon what happened? He had a great heap of fire. His hands were frozen and his feet were numb. Now, in a little while, the fire was burning freely. Now what happened? Uh, within few minutes, the fire started burning merrily. 
the flames leapt upward licking in the overhanging branches the flame what happened it went upward hearts over uh, upward licking at the overhanging branches in the flickering light the immense trees of the grove looked as though they were carrying the vast darkness on their heads now in this immense darkness what it was looking it was looking as if they are carrying the vast darkness over their heads in the blissful sea of darkness the firelight seems to pitch and toss like a boat now in this blissful sea of this darkness what it they saw the fire firelight it seemed to pitch and toss like a boat halku sat before the fire uh, before the fire and let it warm him and halku what he did he sat before the fire and he started warming himself after a while he took off his shawl and tucked it behind him now after some time what happened he took out his shawl and then took it behind him then he spread out both feet and though challenging the goat to do this work then what he did he took out both his feet and though as was challenging the goat to get the work victorious over the immense power of the winter he could not repress the pride of his strength now he became he was feeling as if he was victory victorious why he was feeling because he was able to warm himself and he was trying way he was happy he was feeling very proud to uh, to express his happiness he said to jabra well jabra you are not cold now and uh, are you now he said to uh, uh, he said to his dog that well jabra i think now you are not at all cold jabra barked as though to say how could i feel uh, cold now Jabra also wagged his tail and, as if to say that, how could I feel now, warm, uh, cold now? The leaves were all burned up. Darkness covered the orchard again. Under the ashes, a few embers are up. Now, what happened? Leaves, all the leaves got burnt up. Now, darkness it covered the orchards again, again under the ashes, and a few embers uh, were only, uh, only shells mother. Halku wrapped himself. in his shawl again now halku what happened again he, he wrapped himself in the shawl again and sat by the warm ashes hum, uh, humming at him now what he did he wrapped his shawl again and then uh, he started humming um, in the again and sat by the warm ashes and started singing a uh, humming, humming at him the fire was, uh, fire had warmed him though but as the coal began to spread uh, he fell down it but now fire had made him warm but as the coal was spreading so he felt very drowsy that means he was feeling very sleepy jabra gave a loud bark and ran towards the field now jabra what happened he gave a very loud bark and then ran towards the field halku realized that this meant a pack of wild animals had probably broken in now halku what he realized that what it meant it meant a pack of wild animal and it had probably broken into the field that might be neel guy what it might be it might be the neel guy he distinctly heard the noise of their moving up what he heard he distinctly heard that it may be the noise of the of the uh, neel guy which was moving up then it seemed to him that it must be grazing he began to hear the sound uh, sound of nibbling now what happened it seemed as if it was grazing and he heard the sound of the nibbling he thought no with jabra jabra around no animal can get into the field he ripped to shed now he said that jabra is around so no animals will able to get into the field he did rip it to shed i must have mistake i must have been mistaken now you are no sound at all uh, how could he have been mistaken now say that now he is thinking himself that he had made some mistake and now there is no there was no sound and how could he have made such mistake he shouted jabra jabra now halku called out his dog jabra 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 went on barking and did not come to him jabra what he did it went on barking and didn't come to halku then again there was no sound of munching and crunching in the field then again what happened the sound stopped he could not have been mistaken this time this time he was, halku was not at all mistaken it really hurt to think from getting up from where he was now what happened it really hurt him when he was thinking that how could he get him from where he was it was a cold it was so comfortable there that it seemed 
intolerable to go to the field in this cold and chase after the animal he didn't stare. Now, it was so comfortable there that it was so intolerable to go to the field, hail in this cold and then chase any animal he didn't stare. He shouted at the top of his lungs, hello, hello. Now, what happened? He shouted at the uh, top of his lungs, hello, hello. Jabra started barking again. Jabra, what happened? He again started barking. There were animals eating his field just when the crop was ready. Now animals again there were uh, some animals were there who were eating his field just when the crop was ready. What a fine crop it was and this curse uh, and this curse animals were destroying him. Saying that what a fine crop it was and this what happened this curse the animals it was destroying him. With a firm resolve he got up and took a few steps. Now firm now what happened? And he, he had resolved, he had firmly resolved and then he took up and took first step. But suddenly a blast of wind pleased, pleased him with a sting like a scorpion, uh, scorpion. So he went back and sat against the extinguished fire and stayed up into the ashes to warm his chill body. Now what happened? Again what happened? There was a blast of air uh, that was pleasing him with just like sting. Uh, of a scorpion and so what happened he went back and sat against this fire, warm, uh, warm fire uh, extinguished fire and stayed up in the sat on the warm, uh, warm ashes he shelled it boggy jabra was barking his lungs out and nilgai was devastating the his field now jarva still it was barking and the nilgai what it was doing it was devastating in the field and Halku went on sitting peacefully near the warm ashes. But Halku, what he did? He sat, uh, he sat peacefully near the warm ashes. His drowsiness held him motionless as though withdrew. Now his sleepiness, what happened? It made him motionless as, uh, as though withdrew. Wrapped in his shawl, he fell asleep on the warm ground near the well. Now he wrapped his shawl, shawl and fell asleep on the warm ground near the ashes. When he woke up in the morning, the sun was high and Muni was saying. Now, when he in the morning when he woke up, he found that the sun was high and his wife Muni was saying. Do you think you are going to sleep all day? You came out here and had a fine time while the whole field was being flattened. Saying that. Now, what his wife was saying that don't you know that you are going to sleep all the day? You have come out here and have a fine time. And the whole field, what it has become? It has become uh, flattened. Halku got up and said, "You then you mm, have just come from the field. Yes, Halku got up and said that, oh, you have just come to the field. Yes, it's all drained. And you, you could sleep like that. You could sleep like that. Why did you bother to put up the shelter? And you put up the shelter anyway. Isn't that? And it is all drained. Means the Fields has already full drain and you have sleep and you have in such a thing you it happened and you have you are sleeping like that. Why did you bother to put up the shelter anyway? Halku showed an excuse. Now Halku, what did he do? He made an excuse. I nearly died and uh, nearly I nearly died and just managed to get through the night and you worry about your crops. Now Halki said that I was just nearly about to die and just somehow I managed to um, come out through the night and you worry about your crop and you are just thinking about your crop. I had such a pierce in my pain in my belly. Hey, um, I can't be described saying that and you, I had such a pain in my stomach that I can't describe it. Then the two of them walked to the edge of the land. Then what happened? Both of them walked to the edge of the land. Halku looked the whole field and have been trampled and Jabra was stretched out to the underneath of the shelter as though he were there. And now what happened? Both of them went to the edge of the field. Now Halku what he saw that the field was totally destroyed, totally trampled. And, and um, Jabra it has stretched underneath the shelter as if it was dying. It had died. They continued to stare at the ruined field. Now, uh, Halko and his uh, wife uh, continued to stare at the ruined field. Munni's face was shadowed with grief, but Halko was content. Munni, she was uh, feeling very, she, uh, she was feeling very unhappy. Hey, her face was shadowed with grief, but Halko, he was content. Munni said, "Now you will have uh, have to hire yourself." out to earn some money to pay off the rent and taxes. Now Muni said, his wife said that you what you have to do, you will have to 
work as a labor and to earn something some money in uh, funny to pay the rent and taxes with the content smile halku said now halku halku with a content smile said but i don't have to sleep nice out here in the cold like that i but he does, will not have to sleep the uh, sleep on the nights nice outside uh, in just a cold night right and now take out your diary right chapter 7 january 9 explain homework revise and with this i am ending my today's class goodbye